Hey, I'm Bo Stern Brady, and we are looking today at the miracle of the fig tree. And it's not a miraculous fig tree, it's the miracle of Jesus cursing the fig tree. And so it's kind of a weird one. It, it's not like something good happens, and it's hard to see it as as being like the other miracles. But remember that as we are looking at these miracles, we're looking at them for evidence of who God is, not just what he did, but who he is, and also who we are in light of being those who wanna follow him and become like him. And so this story has some interesting things in it. Um, let's read it out of Matthew 21. It's in all the gospels except John, but we're gonna do it out of Matthew, uh, verse 18. Early the next morning, Jesus was returning to the city. He was hungry. Right off the bat, I'm really encouraged that Jesus gets hungry. There's another place in the Gospels where it talks about Jesus getting tired. And just remembering that he's like us and understands us, I think is a really important part of being his followers. And um, so many times he builds his life around relationship. We talked about that this weekend when we talked about the water into wine. Jesus built so many of his relationships around food, around a table. Even the Last Supper, the sacrament that we hold so dear is built around a meal. And I think there's something about the, the hunger and the satisfaction of sharing food that is so important and it marks us. And so we see that here in the life of Jesus. And then it says, seeing a lone fig tree alongside the road, he approached it, anticipating a breakfast of figs. When he got to the tree, there was nothing but fig leaves. He said, no more figs from this tree ever. The fig tree withered on the spot, a dry stick. The disciples saw it happen. They rubbed their eyes saying, did we really see this? A leafy tree one minute and a dry stick the next. So Jesus approaches a fig tree, expecting what? Figs because it's a fig tree. He doesn't expect bacon and eggs. He doesn't expect apples. He doesn't expect steak and potatoes. He expects figs off a fig tree. And I think that there is always an expectation when people look at those who claim to follow Christ, there's an expectation of what they will get from them, what, what they will experience. It might, they might have a bad expectation or they might have a good expectation, but there is an expectation of what it looks like to be a Christian. And I've been asking myself the question as I've been reading this, do people see in me the fruit of someone who loves and follows Jesus? Do they see that? If, if I really am taking in the word and taking in the peace of Jesus, I would like to believe that then I am giving out the peace of Jesus. If I take in the love of God, I'm giving out the love of God. If they approach my life, they can expect to see the fruit of someone who knows him and loves him. And I do think that this miracle might be a bit of a cautionary tale to say, if you don't bear fruit, it's not gonna work. If you don't bear fruit, you're not living the purpose for which you were called and you're gonna always be hungry and you're gonna always be unsatisfied and you're gonna leave your purpose on the table. You're gonna leave the world wanting. We are called to be people who are feeders in the kingdom. We are called to give people um, a connection to the life and love of Jesus. And if we live in a, in a continual state of dissatisfaction, that's what we'll give out. That's what people will find from us. Or if we, if we live in a sight of hatred or fear or confusion or angst, that's what people will find from us. And we want them to find the fruit of a life that is planted inside the love of God and the word of God. And we want that to come out and we want the world to see that from us. And so from this crazy little miracle, that's what I'm gonna take today. If you find something, we'd love for you to have a maybe comment on our Facebook page and let us know what you're discovering from this miracle and keep following us through here with the miracles of Jesus.